Hello everyone, thank you all once again for the amazing and lovely comments under my SwitchX guide and you read the title of this video and know what to expect, so let's go. First, the ZSD spam. This might be the most infamous playstyle for SwitchX, certainly one of the most effective if done right, and it's just a lot of fun continuously drilling into the monster discharge after discharge. So how do you play in this particular style? First of all you want to get into amp state as quickly as possible and stay in amp state as long as possible. This can be achieved by using power prolonger, which boosts your end state from 45 seconds to 90 seconds. You will probably use a power file in your switch X, which takes the longest to amp up, but you can for example also go for an exhaust file, which is amped up faster, and you can potentially stun the monster, leading to more openings. Another important skill for this kind of playstyle is tool specialist, because once you put your temporal or rock steady mental on, you can turn your brain off. If you have health boost and a health augment on your switch X, you are pretty much unkillable by most monsters if you have decent armor. And uh, that's it. Repeat until monster dead. But I can give you a few more tips on this playstyle. You will burn through a lot of switch gauge of course, so you might have to reload more often. The reload can be sped up while you are jumping or falling thanks to the non-existing hero for the tips on reloading. While sliding down a hill you can also start an upward slash with sword and start a ZSD while in the air, which can lead to a pretty sick zero sun discharge. Also keep in mind that you can get faster into the ZSD with three methods. The first two are chains where you perform the double sideways slash or heavenward flurry and then immediately chain into the discharge which causes the startup animation to be much quicker than doing one from neutral. The third way is by starting the discharge and performing the claw shot I showed you in my guide as well. While amping up, hitting the claw gives you a huge boost in amp meter and if this puts you into amp state you can start your ZSD on the monster. And you can also start the ZSD from a regular regular claw shot instead of softening up the monster's hide. It is insane how much you can spam the ZSD in Iceborne. Oh yeah, and mounting the monster also lets you finish with the discharge. One last note about this playstyle is Frostcraft might be an interesting skill for this particular style. Spamming ZSD can result in sheathing your weapon quite a lot and with Frostcraft and Critical Draw we might be looking at a powerful build but I have to test it further. So far absolutely nothing beats the Fatalis gear, but I might do a build video about it later. Number 2. Old School Switch X or Sword Saint, as I like to call it. Now, the old school playstyle of Switch X basically ignores the ZSD and X mode for the most part and focuses solely on sword mode, meaning once again amping up, slapping evade window on there to side hop all incoming attacks and keeping up that juicy DPS as much as possible. You only enter X mode when you are out of switch gauge or need to evade an incoming attack and otherwise try to maintain your gauge as much as possible. Trying to play in this style really teaches you the ways of maintaining switch gauge and playing around the low mobility of sword mode. Quick tip for when you run out of switch gauge, as soon as you run out of switch gauge you will be forced out of sword mode once the recovery from your last attack is done. But you can avoid it and get some switch gauge back by chaining one last time into a morph slash back to X mode. This morph animation really should be avoided at any circumstance. As for skills I'd recommend evade window and maybe evade extender if you'd like to. Power prolonger is very useful here as well since you want to squeeze all the DPS out of sword mode but you should focus on all the other damage enhancing skills first. Power prolonger is like the cherry on top. This will probably get you the best clear times for quests if you can pull it off correctly. This playstyle may be the most challenging because of the low mobility you are facing, the switch gauge and amp meter you have to take care of and the non-existent defensive options of switch X. But who needs defense when you can have all the offense? Number 3. The power trip. The third playstyle I want to showcase I lovingly call the Power Trip. It is basically the opposite of old school Switch X or Sword Saint, because here we completely focus on X mode, and you'd be surprised how much damage you can dish out like that. The top three attacks with the highest motion value of Switch X are all in X mode, not counting the discharge, because it is full with special properties and so on, let's just ignore that for now. Number one is the X sweep from sliding with a motion value of 74. Second 
second is the heavy slam with a motion value of 72 and third comes the second hit of morph sweep with a motion value of 17. Now the only thing you want to focus on keeping up while on your power up trip is the power x mode which is accessed from wild swing after at least three swings. Power x increases part break damage and stagger damage but only for x mode. With this playstyle it is a little bit dependent on what's your matchup because on a Tigrex for example you can just repeatedly break its arm and basically stun lock it. Brute vibrants like Anjanath however get up very quickly after being knocked down making it a bit more difficult to get this flow going. You also want to keep one leg or arm softened up as much as possible. Flying monsters will be slapped out of the sky with your rising slash and overhead slash and I want to give you this little secret chain for quick and decent damage. If you want to get a quick overhead slash in which deals good damage you need to do at least one other attack beforehand because you can't do the overhead slash from neutral. Which one do you choose? Rising slash? Nope. You can start the wild swing and instantly go for an overhead slash which is the fastest way to perform this powerful overhead attack. And then you can retreat with the backwards fading slash which also has a pretty high motion value resulting in a lot of damage and repositioning. When the monster is down you want to focus on your wild swing and heavy slam to keep the power axe active. Remember that each hit of wild swing deals more damage until reaching the maximum after 3 hits. As for skills, power prolonger once again is nice to have but you will do a lot of heavy slams to update the power x mode so it really is optional and shouldn't be the highest priority. Partbreaker is of course amazing together with power x mode but Partbreaker will not increase the chance to stagger the monster. Evade window and evade extender once again perfect additions to basically any switch x build to keep up with every monster. Another really great skill for this build is slinger capacity. X mode has access to the slinger bursts. A slinger burst allows you to turn around 180 degrees mid chain really shouldn't underestimate that and slinger capacity allows you to hold more of the very powerful slinger ammo all monsters drop every now and then. Number 4 all rounder or master. And now onto the last playstyle for switch X and that is a good mix of all of the above which usually is my preferred playstyle as well. I power up the X, I get into end state and try to do whatever the situation requires or allows. I try to maintain both power X mode and end state as well as my switch gauge and I kinda love just trying to keep my switch X absolutely powered up to the max at all times and use my entire moveset alongside slinger bursts and risky high damage play. These four playstyles really are the reason why I can't put this weapon down. I can't. Switch X is so versatile with a quite low skill floor but such a high skill ceiling with the perfect amount of complexity for me personally. If you want to go for the all rounder playstyle I'm sure you already know which skills I can recommend you for all your builds. In World and Icebawn Switch X really doesn't have that one skill that be a sin to be missing on. The non-existent defense and dodge hops almost force you to run evade window or extender and power prolonger is an amazing skill for Switch X but it takes 3 level 2 two slots on your armor which makes it difficult to squeeze in with all the other damage enhancing skills and the evade window for example. And that is it for this video. Once again feel free to comment your questions and feedback as well as video ideas you'd like to see realized. Happy hunting guys!